Hello everyone, welcome to today's video where I'm showing you that I love thrifting my home decor and then styling it in my home. So I showed a video on Friday where we went thrifting and I showed you everything that I purchased. So this is just kind of a reminder of the things that I got. I got this beautiful little, I don't even know, tabletop file cabinet, this rooster picture, this basket, these little stacking pots and this i got so many different answers on what this was i was told it was an ashtray i was told it was a holds a wine bottle so that it doesn't drip on the table i got so many um answers on what this was i'm not really sure this is the only thing that i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm gonna use it in my home yet but i'm gonna try to give you a couple of ideas of how you could use it if you see something like this so these are all of the thrifted pieces that i have and then we have something fun for you in today's video okay so what we have for you at the end of the video today has nothing to do with thrifting but it does have to do with trying to be frugal so i have this couch that is dark brown i have mentioned several times that I would like a different couch. I would like either one that's, you know, just light tan or something like I've that. I've had this couch for years. I got it off Facebook Marketplace for $200 and I do love the couch itself. I'm just not loving the color anymore. So what I did is I ordered a couch cover and I'm gonna put this on in today's video and kind of show y'all what it looks like after and kind of give you know my review of it now this was not sent to me for free this is not sponsored i 100 percent bought this with my own money and i'm just wanting to try it and see what it looks like and even see if i will like the idea of a light colored couch over there so this was only like 50 something dollars and it was very hard to find a cover that would go on like the they call it the tea cushion here so you have to be real careful if you're wanting to get one like i have the cushions that do this right here let me get closer where y'all can see like this part right here a lot of them just come um, straight out like that but mine has this little part here so it was hard to find a cushion for that so anyway i'm going to put this on and then show y'all what it looks like after kind of give my review again not sponsored was not sent to me for free i paid for this myself um but if i don't like it i'm just going to pack it up and send it back it has free returns so that's the only reason i got it is so that i could make sure that i would even like a light colored couch um and i might even like the the cover itself and if i do i'll keep it but if i don't like the cover but i really like the color of the couch after i put the cover on then i'm going to return this and start shopping for me a light covered couch so that's just an idea for you if you are sick and tired of the color of your couch but you want to try something different do some research and try to find you a couch cover but first let's get to these thrifted home decor pieces and show you how i'm using them in my home and then we'll take a look at that couch cover the first thing i'm going to start with is this warren kimball rooster print i know right where i want to put him so let me show y'all real quick where he's going i thought that he would look awesome just kind of layered over here in front of this cutting board because i have a thrifted tin over here that i've got probably a year or two ago and so i thought that it would make a nice little addition over here in this corner to put this rooster picture just right here I like that it has the black kind of popping off of that so it brings out the black in the little tin with the candle that i just showed y'all how i made that over in last week's video also looks really good over here with the frame and everything i did nothing to that picture except wipe it down and place it over here in place and i love it Okay, so the second thing we're going to focus on is this beautiful basket that has the little hook here on the back so you can hang this off of a peg rail or a hook or anything and that's exactly what i'm going to do but i want to give it a little spring touch so i'm going to take some of these real touch tulips i think i got these off of amazon probably two or three years ago and i just want to drop those in there whoa hold on i don't have my camera on a tripod so we're going to use the file cabinet <laughs> To help me out a little bit so i'm just going to spread these around and i've told y'all before that i like to use some different little pieces um, to kind of break up that bright looking lime green that they always want to put on these stems 
don't know why they don't put a more realistic looking green but anyway i'm going to poke some of this eucalyptus down in here just to kind of break up some of that really bright lime green and then show y'all how i styled this as well all right so there you have it it's as simple as that y'all and that basket looks so cute on this peg rail i did want to mention if you saw probably a couple of weeks ago and i do not expect any of y'all to remember how i had this styled but if you want to go back and look a couple videos back where i was styling some thrifted pieces when i got these plates right here at the antique store i did move some things around so i did have that picture right there and this picture right here, or this gravy boat, I should say. I did have those right here where the little grease can is, but I felt like there was just too much going on here with that pattern with the plates, so I moved that one up there, hung the gravy boat on the peg rail, so it kind of balanced everything out. So I have some of the um, pieces down here, or I have one piece down here. I have the plates, and then I have the little creamer up there at the top so i did want to give y'all that little update and i added a candle to this little box i remember i told y'all i was going to add a little candle or lights or something to that so i did put one of my little battery operated lights in there so i really like how this looks better and this is just what i do y'all i move things around until i get it where i really like it but i do really like how this looks now so i just wanted to give y'all that little update since i was putting the basket over here yeah so there's that thrifted basket that we got and it looks great incorporated into my home decor you could also use this as a practical piece like this is right here by my coffee bar you could put some k cups in there or you could put napkins and hang them in there i mean the possibilities are endless you could just do whatever you want to do but i was trying to add a little touch of spring over here on my pig rail so i like how the tulips look So here's the beautiful little blue and white pots that I thrifted last week. And because I don't have any plants or anything to put in them yet, I'm going to propagate some pothos plants and then put them in here. But in the meantime, I thought that it would look really cute to stack them. I just have some newspaper that these were wrapped up in. And so just to kind of recycle those, I folded them up. And I'm just going to nest these all kind of on top of each other. And I'm going to show you some open shelving where I'm going to put these and show you how I've used a ton of thrifted pieces in my home decor on that open shelving. We're not going to necessarily decorate together. I'm just going to show you the finished look. Okay, so right here on this open shelving, I'm going to take this little stack of blue and white pots and put it right here in this opening and try to make it, you know, look pretty level. <laughs> I'm up on a stool, so that may be kind of hard, but I thought that this complemented this space so well. Let me get that little flower towards the front. But yeah, I think that looks so good up here. So let me show y'all um, what we're working with up here. So I have two shelves here that sits over my recliner, and we'll go over the first row, row, shelf real quick. So everything on here is thrifted, like literally, Everything except for the florals that are in this big picture and the plant that is in that little silver bowl. The mirror, the frame, the picture, the basket, the books, even the silver bowl that the plant is in is thrifted. So I just thought I would show y'all kind of what I've done here on this top shelf a little bit for spring and just how I am incorporating those pots just to bring out a touch of blue over here. I think it's so pretty. And then down here on the bottom shelf, I've used every one of my thrifted pieces down here as well, except for the florals. That is the only thing that is not thrifted down here. Like I said, just getting all of the fun spring things out. And I really like how this turned out down here.
Okay, so on top of my refrigerator, I put this beautiful little file cabinet. For now, this is just an idea. I don't know if it's gonna stay here or if I'm gonna use it at the end of my haul on a wardrobe cabinet. I just think this is a beautiful way to display your rolling pins or some little small plates. As you can see here, I've got some little plates displayed. Get it to focus. I took this little vintage looking postcard here. Elizabeth had ordered a bunch of these and for her room. This is one of the ones she didn't want. So I thought it looked very pretty, just kind of propped up there on the side. Kind of helped tie in with some of the pink florals and all I have over here. So I think this is another very cute way to use it to display some of your beautiful thrifted pieces. And there's so many thrifted things up here. All of the, the riser, the plates, the soup terrine, those bowls, all of that is thrifted. These books. Now this crock I got at Tractor Supply last year. So I don't know if they'll have those out this year or not but I use it to hold the rest of my rolling pins. And then I have a crate down here that's holding up the little black file cabinet just because when you're down, like I'm up on a step stool right now, but when you were down here, like looking up at it, you could not see the file cabinet really good. So just by using that little tray thing there that um, my husband brought home one time from people bringing them food in it, I use that to sit underneath and kind of help be a riser for the little black file cabinet thing. So this is just another cute way to use it to display some stuff. Okay, and so many of you told me in Friday's video that this would be perfect to hold your seed packets, and y'all were not lying. This holds the seed packets perfectly, as you're gonna see here in this next clip, and I cannot even tell you how happy this makes me. However, I asked for a seed organizer for my birthday, so I don't think I'll be using mine for that, but if you need something to hold and organize your seeds, definitely look for one of these out at the thrift store. Okay, and I wanted to show y'all another way, and this is probably how I'm gonna leave it for now. I really like the file cabinet down here on the end. It brings out the black in the country home, and it just looks, I don't know, simple, clean, and it's gonna work for storage very good because I have a lot of arts and crafts in this cabinet, so I'll be able to use this to place map colors, markers, things like that, that I don't want the little kids being able to get a hold of by themselves, but they'll be here if they want them. An adult can come get them out because one of them has colored his whole dresser with a crayon. So until they get a little bit older, it'd probably be nice to keep the scissors and markers and things like that in these drawers. So that's probably how I'm gonna use it for now, but y'all know that that could change. Yeah, so definitely thrift your home decor because look how many different ways you can use things. Y'all left so many good ideas on how to use this black file cabinet. So I'm so thankful for all of y'all's comments and ideas. Okay, and my intentions for this is to use it to put a pot in so that I can use this as like my little drainage tray. Now there is no plant in here obviously because I don't have one to put in it, but I did want to show you um, if you had a, and I really need a bigger pot. This one's, this one's just an example, so nobody judge, but it would make a great little drainage dish for a beautiful plant like a little house plant or something or to put on your patio but you can also use this as a coaster um, 
you know, so your furniture doesn't get a wet ring or something like that. So my idea is to use it here on a nightstand in our master bedroom and put a plant in it. Like I said, I just don't have one and I feel like it needs some greenery or something over here, but I do want to put a real plant in it. But you could also use it to place little remote controls in just to kind of corral those and it makes it look nice also. Even just adding it to a little shelf where you need something extra like I have some little remotes that go to lights so I can turn several lights on and off with these little remotes and we normally stand here in our hallway to do that because they're in different bedrooms and this would help corral those little remotes and the glass would look so pretty just on this bottom shelf. So this is how I'm going to leave it for now in my house until I can get a plant to put on the nightstand. Okay, so as promised, here is the couch cover. <laughs> and let me just tell y'all that, I mean, it, it's okay. It is probably not going to be a permanent thing, but it definitely lets me know that I want a lighter colored couch. I love how bright it looks, but y'all, that thing was a beast to get on. I will say it does fit very snug, pretty tight, and it looks very nice. I just don't see it holding up very well. There's my puppy over there wanting to get in. But uh, yeah, I would say if you need a good couch cover, it's very thin. That's another thing. And I don't like that you can see like those lines, like those seams or whatever. And I had to pull it really tight down there just to give a finished look and I stapled it. So I definitely won't be returning it. <laughs> since I had to staple it. But overall, I think it'll work for at least a few months until I can get some, some other home projects done that I wanna do and then maybe save up to go buy a new couch that's definitely a lot lighter in color. But for $50, you really can't beat this little backup plan I had here. Anyway, thank y'all so much for joining me today and seeing all of the home decor that I've been thrifting and styling in my home. We hope that y'all have a wonderful week. We love y'all and I'll see you back here Friday with a brand new video.